Alright guys, so today we are going to be doing Chiching number 77. So let's start in where we left off in the last Chiching. The first thing that I have to share with you is a skirt that I sold. This was by a brand called Miss 60. I found this at Goodwill and as soon as I saw it, I was like, wow, this thing is so unique and interesting. It was a pretty short mini type skirt, but it had these belt loops like all over the front of it um just very unique like i said and it just screamed like um y2k type style to me miss 60 was a brand i know back when i was a teenager uh that brand was like in all of the teen magazines like ym and stuff like that uh so you know people still really like those types of fashions and you know I've never seen anything like this before so if someone is looking for something unique that no one else is gonna be wearing then this skirt was pretty much it so like I said I found that at Goodwill um, probably pay less than five dollars for it and it sold for sixty nine dollars and ninety nine cents I remember at one point it had over a hundred watchers on it but no one was biting um, but it did eventually Eventually sell. I mean, I knew it was going to. I think at one point I may have even raised the price a little bit since there were so many watchers. Um, but yeah, it did take a little while to sell. You know, it did take a while to accumulate all those watchers. But it's definitely one of those things like if I would ever find anything remotely close to looking like that again in the future, I would definitely pick it up. Next thing I have is a Bath & Body Works Cabana Breeze Scented Sheer Body Oil. I found this at a yard sale over the summer. I'd say I paid a dollar for it. This is a discontinued um, fragrance and that sold for $19.99. Our next item we have the next actually five items went to the same person you guys know you know if you were watching all my cha-chings at one point I had purchased a bunch of department 56 Halloween ornaments I got them at a great kind of like a wholesale price from a store um, and they have been selling I'm still selling them so the next five items are all department 56 Halloween ornaments that went to the same person the first one was a fortune teller witch that sold for $25.99 the next one was what they called a raggedy witch that sold for again $25.99 then we have this really cute one of a pumpkin on top of a, a turtle, riding a turtle. That one sold for $35.99. Next one was a firecracker and he was holding like a little flag that said boom. It was so incredibly cute. That sold for $25.99. And then the last one that they purchased was a little cricket and that one also sold for $25.99. Next item we have is a My Little Pony plush stuffed animal. This was actually a Build-A-Bear plush. Um, this did take a while to sell. It sold for $19.99. You can see in my picture, my picture isn't the greatest on this listing. And I remember when I took this picture, I was having a really hard time um, listing. My dog was... Um, the dog I had prior to my puppy now, the one that passed away, you know, as she was getting older, she just constantly wanted to be with me and around me because, you know, she felt safe and secure wherever I was. And it made it really hard to list. And I remember I was like listing like on the floor up in this room right here with my lights and she kept wanting to like crawl on the blanket that I had spread out on the floor and it was just very hard for me to list so the picture you can see in this listing wasn't the best and maybe that's why um, it didn't sell you know as quickly as it could have because my picture wasn't so good just wanted to point that out <laughs> because pictures are very very important when it comes to um, selling uh, next item we have was an ET plush I picked this up at a yard sale oh same with the my little pony build-a-bear that came from a yard sale as well um, this ET plush looked like it was handmade I didn't see any tags on it it just looked like something that um, you know someone probably had like a pattern 
or something like that to go by to, you know, make this like a handmade item. I picked that up, like I said, at yard sale. I paid a dollar for it and that sold for $19.99. And I'm pretty sure that one went overseas. Next item I have is a pair of Clark's shoes. Um, I, it's like hit or miss with Clark's anymore. Like I still like picking them up because they're just really nice shoes. But unless I'm getting them for super cheap, I, I'm tending to stay away because they're not selling for as good as they used to. I mean, maybe that price will come back up um, over time. But right now, I'm not really seeing the amounts like I used to get uh, reselling them. So these sold for $19.99. Probably came from a yard sale or a fill -a bag rummage sale. Next item came from an auction. This was a vintage Tinkerbell Cosmetics children's watch now this isn't tinkerbell like disney tinkerbell this is the tinkerbell cosmetics this um was a, a little girls like cosmetic company that came out oh goodness um i think they were around even before the 80s but i remember them from the 80s since you know i was an 80s child um so just think of like you know little kids makeup and beauty type products um that you know were safe for us, were supposedly safe for us, uh, to use as, as children. Um, people really do like to collect these. They're harder to find items. I'd like never come across any of the actual, you know, makeup and cosmetics or like body care type of pieces. So when I saw this watch at the auction, I was like, holy crap, I haven't seen anything Tinkerbell Cosmetics in so incredibly long. So I won that with some other random stuff. I know it wasn't for much. And I put that up on auction just because I didn't see any listed at the time or in sold actually and that actually sold for $56.55 so that was awesome. Next item also came from an auction. This was for a lot of two Avon um, sheer raspberry ice lipsticks. These were brand new, still sealed. I had gotten a baggie full of them. Um, these sold for $29.99. It is a discontinued shade and people are actually really looking for this shade. Um, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure you saw a lot of them in another Chiching and I told you like I sold out of all of my sheer raspberry ice lipsticks from Avon. So I don't know if this will be the last one you see but you know they did all sell. Uh, next item was an Eric purchase um, from an auction. This was for a Sears Craftsman Handy Cut Cutters. I don't know a whole lot about tools. <laughs> um, you'll see there are a decent amount of things that, you know, Eric is responsible for in this cha-ching. Um, he's really getting very good at, you know, more of the manlier stuff, like things that I don't really know, like, a whole lot about. Um, I will say he kind of has the mindset like I used to have in the beginning when I was a reseller and that was I just kind of gravitated towards what interested me and I'd kind of not pay too close attention to other stuff um, just because I didn't know anything about it or you know that kind of thing but now you know as I've grown, I will literally look at everything. I will research everything, even if it's something that like I know nothing about. I'm still going to take the time to look it up and make sure that I'm not, you know, just looking past something. So he's getting better at that. But you'll see like the things that he tends to, you know, gravitate towards are, you know, things that interest him. You know, but that's what makes it fun for a reseller. You obviously want to like what you're reselling. Um, so I totally get that and it's totally understandable. So this was for uh, Sears Craftsman Handy Cut Cutters. He purchased these at an auction. I'm not sure exactly uh, what prices these are. Um, if I hauled them, I probably said prices back when I hauled them. Anyway, these sold for $44.99. And the next item was also um, a craftsman tool item. These were Robo Grip pliers that sold for $65.99. This next item, oh my goodness, I was even surprised by <laughs> this item selling. Uh, this came on like a flat from an auction of just random stuff. It wasn't what I was interested in on the flat, 
but I was like, you know what? I'm just going to take a chance and list this. When I looked it up, I didn't see anything as far as anything by this was kind of like an advertisement piece. It said TMG Bridal on it. It was a desk calendar paperweight from 1969. So the calendar was from the year 1969. It was a pink, you know, desktop calendar paperweight uh, for TMG Bridal. So I don't know if the person who purchased it like had some sort of connection to <clears throat> TNG Bridal or what, but it's over $35.99 and I pretty much just pulled that number out of my butt. <laughs> I have no idea why I listed that so kind of high, um, but it's sold and that's just why sometimes reselling is like mind boggling. Like, okay, I had something someone really, really wanted and apparently my price point was perfect. So that was just a, a fun sell. Uh, next item we have to go to a subscriber named Carrie. This was for a lot of 11 Bachman, just really small like cars and vehicles. So these are perfect for train setups, like the, the smaller train setups. These actually belonged to my aunt. You guys know I have in the past been selling some stuff for her um, and I do still have some of her stuff currently listed. Those sold for $9.99. Next item was some Mikasa Cappuccino mugs. Eric and I purchased these at Goodwill. They were like in a shoebox, like wrapped in like clear tape. Um, I know we didn't pay much for the shoeboxes of these mugs. I forget how many I had, but the person who purchased these, I was listing them as lots of two and they purchased two lots. So a total of four mugs for a total of $47.98. Next item was for a pair of jeans. I had never heard of this brand before. This brand was called Dang Chicks. I picked these up at a fill -a bag rummage sale, so pretty much paid about a dollar for them, and those sold for $29.99. Next item we have is a set of two Claire Burke refresher oils. So these are like potpourri oils that you would put in like a simmering pot. Um, I purchased these, I'm pretty sure at a yard sale. I'd say I paid a dollar for them or 50 cents a piece and those sold for $19.99. They may have come from a rummage sale now that I think about it, but regardless, I didn't pay much for them. And it seems like every Claire Every Claire Burke item I think I've purchased has sold. So it's definitely a brand I, I pick up when I see it, if it's cheap. Uh, next item we have is an NFL starter Redskins jacket. I'm pretty sure Eric got this at a yard sale and I wanna say he paid $10 or $20 for it. Um, somewhere in that, in that frame. Uh, and that sold for $69.99. Next thing we have is, again, this was an Eric <laughs> um, sell. This was a box of Russell Jennings auger bits. Uh, we purchased these at an auction, and the real fun thing about sometimes, like with auctions, um, these were in a box lot area, and typically in what they call the box lot area, you pretty much stand around a table with everyone else who's interested in something on the table and then they'll th you know go through prices um say you know someone bids up to twenty dollars then they can pick anything off that table for twenty dollars so they can pick one thing for twenty dollars or they could put multiple things for twenty dollars and typically the more it goes um, the less the price goes, but that's not always the case. Sometimes the price goes up because you never know what other people are after on that table. Um, sometimes they're not after obviously the same thing as you. Uh, so you kind of have to read people and try and like figure out what they're after type of thing. And sometimes you can tell by, you know, they'll be like side eyeing or like looking right at the item that they're interested in. Um, so with this table in particular, it was a whole lot of um, tools. So 
I stood there and bid on these auger bits and let Eric like stand off to the side because the men are not gonna know what I'm interested in. They're like, what is this girl doing here? What does she want <laughs> with any of these tools? So I actually won these auger bits um, for Eric and those sold for $165. So it's just one of those tactics like we like to have, you know, just to keep people off of our trail as far as what we're interested in and it sometimes works really well. Um, next item we have is a Another Eric item. This was a, I'm telling you guys, he's getting really, really good. This is a Danbury Mint Mobile Gas Diorama. So it was like, oh my gosh, so much detail in this thing. And it also had a clock on it as well. Um, we purchased this at an auction and it sold for $289.99. Absolutely pristine condition. Uh, really, really, really nice piece. Next item I have is a Littlest Pet Shop 15 piece play set. I actually got this at Walmart and I have kind of an interesting story about this as well. So I apologize, I'm a little bit rambly with some stories to like go in with some of these items I'm selling. I know some people like that and some people are like, just get to the point type of thing. But anyway, I like to share with you guys. So <clears throat> I got this uh, Littlest Pet Shop play set at Walmart. Uh, the day I found it, it was laying on the floor in the toy aisle. Um, there were two workers who were working and they were like cleaning underneath the shelves. And I guess at one point this piece got, you know, kicked under there or something. And I picked it up and I scanned it back when, you know, you were able to like scan things on the Walmart app <laughs> and I saw that it was only five dollars because it was an older item so I got it for five dollars and I sold it for forty nine dollars and ninety nine cents so it's just one of those things that will probably never happen again in my lifetime but it was really cool <laughs> at the time uh, next item we have is a Method Man cassette tape. At one point, Eric and I purchased a bunch of cassette tapes at a yard sale. I still have some that I need to, um, I've been trying to listen to them, um, but I'm not always thinking about, you know, listening to them to make sure, you know, they're all um, playing properly. Anyway, I did get a chance to go through this one and it worked great and it sold for $25.99. Next item was for a vintage, had to have been from the 80s, um, heart diary like notebook. I got this at a yard sale. I say I'd pay like a quarter or 50 cents for it and it sold for $12.99. Next item we have is a men's American Eagle sweater. I actually got this for free. I didn't pay anything for it and that sold for $10. Uh, we have a sealed Toy Story VHS tape that sold for $12.99. I got that at a yard sale for a dollar. I sold a Victoria's Secret Very Sexy Body Spray for $19.99. That also came from a yard sale and I probably also paid about a dollar for that. Um, next item we have is a vintage Levi's denim jean jacket. This had a really cool, funky cow print on the back of it. Um, I'm pretty sure that came from a Phila bag rummage sale and that sold for $35.99. It did take a little while for that to sell. Next item we have is a leather brown fossil purse. I can't remember exactly where I picked this up, but I feel like I didn't have it for very long at all. And that sold for $39.99. I love picking up fossil items. Um, you guys know I love fossil, so I like to pick it up when I see it. Next, we sold a vintage Reba McIntyre single stitch t-shirt. Um, I had purchased a bunch of Reba McIntyre shirts at a yard sale. Um, I'm pretty sure I only have maybe one left, possibly two. I'm, I'm pretty sure I paid a dollar a piece for those and that sold for $35.99. Alright, next item went to a subscriber named Kathy. This was for a large glass bottle of Beekman 1802 Lavender Scented Essential Oil. Um, that did come from an auction. I had won like a tray full of Beekman 1802 products and that sold for $16.99. Sold a Betty Crocker cookbook for $29.99 that either came from a yard sale or... 
it definitely came from a yard sale. I'm kind of remembering exactly like what yard sale I got that from. Um, and that was probably, like I said, a dollar. <clears throat> Next item also came from a yard sale and was also a dollar. <laughs> this was a Tupperware deviled egg container. Um, I had found two of them and I kept one for myself and I actually use it pretty dang frequently. Um, that sold for $12.99. <clears throat> Next item took a long time to sell, which surprised me because I thought this was a really pretty piece. This was for a bracelet by a company called Keep Collective very beautiful bracelet um but i just it just sat and sat and sat and sat uh, but it did eventually go i got that at a yard sale and i think i paid maybe two dollars for it and that sold for nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents next item also came from a yard sale this was a mark avon dry oil mist in the scent sassy uh that sold for twenty nine dollars and ninety nine cents and probably paid a dollar for that <laughs> Uh, next item also came from a yard sale and this I think I paid a quarter or 50 cents for and it was an older Habitat Skateboards t-shirt. This sold for $25.99. Next item was one of the Jack Daniels items that Eric and I had won at the auction. These were for um, what they called wing shelves. So you would display your um, Jack Daniels shot glasses on them. That was brand new. Sold for $129.99. <laughs> this next item came from Goodwill. <laughs> I like picking up weird stuff. <laughs> you guys know I love weird stuff. But I love the look of this because it had that anthropomorphic look. Um, it was a corn on the cob candle. Unfortunately, it didn't smell like corn on the cob. That would have been amazing. It was just like, you know, a plain wax candle, but really cute nonetheless. Um, I probably paid like $1.99 for that at Goodwill and it sold for $15.99. Next item also came from Goodwill. This was an older from 2001 Gillette Sensor XL Women's Razor. I used to have this razor back in the day when I was younger. Um, this was brand new, old stock, still sealed. Um, probably paid like $1.99 for that at Goodwill and it sold for $59.99. Next item was another Eric purchase. This came from an auction. It was a Craftsman 8-piece chisel set that we sold for $74.99. I sold a pair of Dress Barn dangly earrings with leaves on them for $7.99. I got those at a yard sale. I paid 10 cents for them. Um, they took an incredibly long time to sell. Very long time. I mean, I probably purchased these years ago. <laughs> but they sold. <laughs> um, next item was also another Eric purchase. This was um, from 1999. It was a Star Wars droid gun. When you like pull the trigger, it made noises and lit up on the end. And that sold for $49.99. That came from an auction. Uh, next item also came from an auction. This was on a tray of just random stuff. Again, not something that I wanted off the tray, but I always still try to either, you know, sell things from those trays or, you know, they get put in like a flea market pile. And I know I say flea market pile and flea market a lot. And this will be the first year Eric and I are definitely going to set up at the flea market this year. So I will definitely be doing a video um, whenever that does happen when the weather wants to get nice again basically uh, but anyway this was a um like mother of pearl handled nail file that sold for seven dollars and 99 cents and the last thing that i have for this cha-ching was a um older but still sealed risk um pc computer game i got this at a yard sale i'd say i paid like two dollars for it and that sold for $29.99. So that is everything for this um, specific cha-ching. Um, just a couple of things to talk about eBay related. Um, I don't like to dwell on this subject because I feel like I've been saying it like in like my last couple of cha-chings. But I still feel like sales are 
on the slower side. Um, you know, which makes sense. We're still coming out of, of the Christmas uh, craziness. Um, people are, you know, we're starting to do our taxes and getting, you know, tax returns and stuff like that. Um, so I do feel like there might be an uptick once people start getting like their tax returns back. Um, but as of right now, I still feel like sales are on the slower side. I mean, I'm still getting sales, but they're like trickling in. It's not like they're popping off left and right. Um, but I don't want to dwell on that because who wants to dwell on that, right? Um, and then the only other thing that I really have to talk about within this cha-ching as far as like um, eBay related, I feel like I've been dealing with a lot of harassing messages on eBay lately. Um, and <laughs> it's just kind of, it's, it's weird. So there's one item that I have for sale that like I've been constantly getting messages from someone who wants me to pretty much part it out. Um, he wants just like one piece off of the item and told me that like he'll pay so much for just this piece and that I can sell the other piece for probably more or something like that. And it's like, dude, if you want that piece, just buy it and then you can sell it for more. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not parting out the piece because it's going to drop the va It's gonna drop the value of the item if I would part out the piece. It belongs to it. Um, but he just wants that one piece, I guess, to complete his piece. Um, but anyway, it's just been very, like, harassing message, like, constantly. Um, you know, like, daily type of thing. And it's like, just... It gets a little crazy sometimes. Um, I haven't heard anything lately though, so um, there's that. But then I had someone else harassing me on a daily basis about something. They wanted me to, um, they wanted me to lower the price on something, which I mean I don't mind doing. I send out offers a lot on stuff, um, and I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I sent out an offer on the item, but I guess it still wasn't cheap enough for them. Like they wanted it even cheaper. Um, and it was just a constant barrage of messages every single day, sometimes multiple times a day. Um, and like very spammy, like it would be like one word. And then right after that, another message would pop up one word one, until a sentence was complete. It was complete spam. Um, and there's like no way to like report, you know, when you're in your email messages, there's no option to like click on something to like report the message to ebay so it's like i don't really know what to do other than to block them and if i block them you know then they're not able to purchase the item anyway you know what i mean so it's like i feel like it's a lose-lose situation right there i mean granted maybe i don't want them to purchase the item but even still it's it's been kind of crazy i feel like there's been a lot of harassing messages lately a lot of spammy um messages so there's that um but yeah i i haven't thankfully heard anything from either of these two people in a little while but if something i wanted to mention let me know down in the comments if you've ever had you know a buyer like that or someone interested in one of your items who was like constantly barraging you with with messages and stuff like that because it's it gets a, it was a little wild there for a while um but that is everything for this ching i hope you guys enjoyed it um let me know what you thought down in the comments and um, how things are going for you uh what maybe you thought was like the most interesting um ching item in this video uh, but yeah hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you next time